I know, I know what I'm doing. Go, go. I know how to pose. Oh my gosh, I'm actually kind of excited to do this because it's been so, so, so long since I've had a conversation with y'all in my car. And this feels very strange. So, um, well, hi. I wanted to let y'all know, let you in on what I am up to now because I ended my cut where I spent 12 weeks basically trying to cut the fat off my body. I wanted to see the muscles that I've worked so hard for. Um, I was at like a 22% body fat and I basically got down um, to just under 13% body fat according to the bod pod test. And so, yeah, so I wanna fill you in with what I'm doing now. After uh, the end of my 12 weeks, I started a reverse diet. I have never reverse dieted before. I did research and kind of planned out what I was going to do. Um, slowly, you know, upping my calories from my deficit to work back towards maintenance. Uh, this was the first time I did it. It was an experiment for me. I did immediately jump up my calories, which basically on my macros just affected my carbs. Um, my fat and protein protein basically stayed the same. And I continued to lose weight because I was not yet at my maintenance. I was still in a deficit even though I wasn't as low. And I dropped about two more pounds, um, I would say. So I think in a future reverse diet, I don't know if it's supposed to go like that, um, but in the future, I think I probably would have sped up the process and kept bumping up my carbs quicker. Uh, currently, I believe that I am at maintenance, actually slightly above maintenance. Right now, I'm a little over, I'm over 2,000 calories. Um, my macros are pretty high and it's excellent in terms of what I am able to eat and fit in on a daily basis. And my weight has gone up. Um, from my lowest point, which was about 118, I am about 121, 122 right now. I've been closer to 122, and I'm ready for the gains, right? I'm ready. I've, I've been working hard in the gym. I am ready to put on more muscle mass. I am going to try to um, stay at this level as a lean bulk, even though I will probably up my calories a little bit more farther down the line. I'm not sure exactly when. I want to maintain what I have as much as I can. As far as like my lean, leanness, I know that's not going to happen and that I am going to put on some fat, but I'm gonna do my best to stay as lean as possible and put on as much muscle as possible. So the Wonder Butt. Why am I calling this series the Wonder Butt? I have always had kind of a booty. I have um, pretty nice legs, I think. They are hard to lean out. They've always been bigger. Um, I grew up as a dancer and they were always, you know, big and strong. I don't know if that's part of the reason why or just genetics. But as I leaned out this 12 weeks, my butt slowly disappeared. And now that, and when I got to my leanest point, I realized. I didn't have as much of a booty as I thought I did, right? It was a lot of fat, which of course, yes, your glutes, right, are the muscles, but your butt has a lot of fat on it. When my fat dropped off, I realized that my glutes were not that big. And so, if I want to compete as a bikini c competitor, one of the major things that they look at are your glutes, and I need to build them up. So. I don't want a booty just by putting fat back on because I want to stay relatively lean. I'm going to have to try to build a booty and I'm going to do that by lifting. I, my leg workouts are going to be pretty intense. I'm going to throw in some 
glue exercises on the end of days where I work arms, where I work back, right? If they're not sore, then I'm probably going to work my glutes at the end. I am going to push myself and I am going to build a booty, starting with what I have and working on making it bigger. So that's why this is called the wonder butt. Hopefully I can do wonders and build a butt. And I will show you what I do. You're about to see a pretty intense leg workout, glute workout with my friend Brees, who I have been working out with a lot. Yeah, and I am sore. I'm sore every day after my leg workout. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy this series. Who doesn't want a booty, right? She's got class and style, street knowledge by the town. Said it never act wild, very low key on the profile. Catch it feelings in the flow, let me tell you how it goes. Curves the word, spins the verb, lovers it curves so sweet, what you love. And with the fatness, you don't even know what the half is. You've got to pay to play, just for short it and rent it away. I like the way you work it, drop tight all day, every day. You're blowing my mind, maybe in time, baby, I can get you. you, you. I like the way you work it, no DVD. I like the way you work it, I like the way you work it, no DVD. I like the way you work it, no DVD. I like the way you work it, no DVD. I like the way you work it, no DVD. Get out of my mind. About the girl all the time Can't get it out of my mind Wow Take a bitch to every day Get it out of my mind Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers 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 Che
Pushing fat rides, it's no surprise She got tricks in the stash Stacking up the cash Fast when it comes to the gas By no means have rats Cause on when she's got the habit Baby, you're a perfect 10 I wanna get in Can I get down so
Hey guys, so on Sunday on my Instagram, um, I put up a post and asked 